So today what we're going to look at is we're going to figure out what the equation of a parabola could be given the vertex. Okay? So for example, if a parabola has a vertex at 2, 4. Okay? Well, what we know is that that 2 has got to be in that part, right? Because that tells us our horizontal shift of the parabola, right? So this tells us the problem that the vertex moves two to the right. And this four goes out here, right? That tells us that the problem moves four up, right? So this says two to the right. This says four up, okay? This part out here, we don't know, right? We don't know that vertical stretch pattern. We don't know the step pattern, okay? So to figure this out, okay, we're going to have to get some more information, okay? So it's the same as if I were to give you the uh, y-intercept of a line, right? You would know y equals mx plus b. So say I told you that the y-intercept is 2, you would need to figure out m. Well, to figure out m, you need another point. You need to sub in the x and the y-coordinate, okay? So that's all we're going to do today. We're going to say we have a vertex, okay? And it says one of the x-intercepts is this. So it gives us another point. What's the equation? Okay? So the vertex tells us right away this is 2 to the left, and this is 8 up. Okay? So we know that an equation looks like this. Remember that, that discovery that you did with the h and the k? All right? So what we found out was that this h was actually uh, telling us how the problem moves right or left, okay? So what that means is that in this case, y is a, I don't know that. So this x minus h thing, well, this is 2 to the left, right? So remember, it was kind of weird. If it moved to the left, it was x plus 2 squared, right? So this told us that the, that the problem moves 2 to the left. And then the 8 is 8 up, so plus 8, right? So this tells us 2 to the left, so it moves the vertex to negative 2. And this tells us 8 up, so it moves the vertex 8 up, okay? So now the last part is to figure out what the A value is. Well, we know everything else except A and X and Y. But I know an X and a Y. Okay? So that means that all we have to do is sub in that X and Y. So there's X, Y. We need to sub that in and figure out what A is. So Y is 0. A, I don't know. X is 2. So 2 plus 2 squared plus 8. All right? So now, let's do brackets first. All right, so we're going to follow bed mass. All right. So 0 is A, and then 4 squared is 16 plus 8. Okay. So now, we have to isolate A. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. All right. So negative 8 is 16a, and then we're going to divide by 16. So that makes a negative, if we reduce this fraction, 1 over 2. So that makes the equation negative 1 over 2, and then we got to remember what that first part was, x plus 2 squared plus 8. x plus 2 squared plus 8. Okay, so the bottom line is we were given the vertex first, and then we were given another point to be able to figure out that A value. Okay, that's it. See you in class.